Happy Hump Day! And I guess you wouldn't have guessed this, but apparently Coinbase has been participating in some insider trading. We also have some very interesting news from Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, and of course, BlackRock is getting into crypto. What in the actual? <laughs> Welcome back to The O Show, everything crypto and NFTs every day. Make sure to subscribe, smash that like button, and also follow me on Twitter and TikTok for more breaking news. This first story should not come as a surprise to any of us, but apparently Coinbase was again accused of insider trading after new altcoin prospects are published. Guess what, guys? Blockchain technology allows you to view every single transaction in a transparent manner, which is why the U.S. government is so, so scared of implementing a U.S. digital dollar or actually just legalizing cryptocurrency because you can track everything. Down over here, specifically, the account had purchased tokens totaling next to 400,000, including indexed Chromatica, DAP Radar, Rack, DFX Token, and Paper. So there is a massive list of tokens that Coinbase is considering to list. And these tokens are also one of the tokens that were purchased. Kind of makes you think a little bit. Coinbase has acted in a lot of shady practices in the past, but to be honest, this is not surprising, but it is a new time low. This story is really annoying because we have Bitcoin Archive being kind of excited about BlackRock studying digital assets, including Bitcoin. They manage $10 trillion in assets. BlackRock is an absolute abomination to people globally. They do a lot of very, very predatory practices. And do we really want them in Bitcoin and crypto? First off, they have been studying Bitcoin and crypto for a long time, and I'm sure that they probably hold a lot of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies because people like BlackRock, they have all these small little companies that are not necessarily attached to them that are very, very hard to track down, but they have been investing in crypto and Bitcoin for many, many years via OTC desk. So this is not a good thing any way, shape or form. This is our Bitcoin chart, and I totally thought that we were going to get that move down to about $37,000. I was wrong. We only touched approximately thirty-nine two. So right now, what I'm looking for, I'm looking for a move above $42,000, a nice close, or a move down below $39,000. We get that move down below $39,000, we can be in a little bit of bearish territory. But honestly, MACD is looking good. It's looking like she's ready to bear cross and pop up. RSI is also bouncing from oversold. Next, this tweet came from MoonPay. Excited to transform the way creative artists and athletes approach art, fan engagement, intellectual property management. The key word here is IP management, intellectual property management. This stuff, even though it's not tangible, goes for a lot, a lot, a lot of money on the back end. IP rights are sold back and forth on secondary and third markets with these big big entertainment companies. And there looks like they're going to be giving quite a few apes to some of these well-known celebrities. I own one mutant ape and I was able to get the ape airdrop when I had my two apes. I think that Yuga Labs, Bored Apes, and MoonPay are going to do really, really great things for mass adoption. And a lot of people are not going to understand how important it is regarding IP management rights, etc. So stay tuned for projects that are speaking about IP management rights, etc. Big shout out to XRP and Ripple. Ripple claims a very big win in SEC case. Ripple Labs was able to gain a victory against the SEC in its ongoing securities fraud case. The judge on the case denied the SEC's motion to review certain documents that may not be material to the prosecution. This is absolutely great. If you want to learn more about this story, go ahead and read it at Cointelegraph. But again, you guys, I fully support Ripple's fight against the SEC because the SEC is a bunch of bullies. Interesting news here, Dogecoin aims for offline transactions via Starlink technology. We all know that Elon Musk has his dirty little paws in Dogecoin, and apparently staff members working on the Dogecoin Foundation penned an article recently about Radio Dodge technology combined with the Starlink satellite network to conduct Doge transactions without using the internet, connecting Radio Dodge to Dogecoin testnet through Starlink's technological support. And basically, a quote from this article 
article, Cheap and Reliable Radio Technology, HF slash L-O-R-A-W-A-N, working along with the Starlink satellite network to enable accessibility to people without internet connectivity. This also goes the same for Bitcoin. You can actually access Bitcoin network with some sort of radio. I have a friend that does it all the time because he's so, so concerned about OPSEC. But let's now take a look at the Dogecoin price on this news. Taking a look at the Dogecoin price, nothing too terribly exciting. However, it does look like we could have potentially bottomed out at about 30. 14 cents here. Now, what we need to do is get back above this 14 cent resistance area, flip it into support, and then tackle 17 cents. That's where the EMA 200 is. Once that happens, I think that we definitely can hit 19 and 22 cents. Again, this was an older trade idea we had, but we actually, in fact, just hit the 17 cent mark. At the same time, I'm excited to hear this about Dogecoin. It's going to be very, very interesting. And I'm really glad that Elon Musk is popping the price up because I am invested. I've got a moon bag from many, many moons ago. And of course, we cannot forget our second favorite meme coin, Shiba Inu. But apparently SHIB is going to be in the metaverse. It will be used to add pictures, logos to the land plots. The features will also burn SHIB each time pictures are changed. Directly from the article. During the introductory phase for SHIB metaverse, over 36,000 plots of land will become unlocked while revealing portions of four different districts, growth district, defense district, technology district, and currency district in total. SHIB, the metaverse, will consist of over 100,000 plots of land. This is actually a really cool idea that Shiba Inu has, and I think the reason why the project is still around today is because they are kind of bridging into the metaverse, which is a very, very smart marketing tactic because they are adding utility to their holders and people in the community. So as far as price goes, when we take a look, we were able to kind of sustain 268000. Now, what we need to do is really flip above this area at about 290000. I know I could have said zeros. But anyways, once this happens, we should be able to rock it up to 350800. If we reject, you can expect a retest here at about 222400. Either way, use a stop loss and practice risk management. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. I will catch you later. Bye-bye.